the evangelist Rob here of Rob Woods Ministries. I want to ask you guys a question today. Excuse me, my Bible's blown all over in the wind. I want to ask you a question today. Brother Rob has a question, and the question is, who is like the Lord? Who is like the Lord? Come on, I want to hear from you in the comment section. I want to see the comment section blowing up. I want to see some answers of what you would say to that question. I'm asking you the question, who is like the Lord? Obviously, no one. Friends, we serve a great and mighty God. Hallelujah. At the end of the day, no matter what we go through, no matter what we've been, Jesus is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. God's still on the throne, you know. I never read in the Bible where God told Jesus, go down to the local pharmacy, get me some talcum powder. I'm getting nervous around here. I'm breaking out in a rash. Things are getting a little out of hand. Friends, God is completely in sync, in harmony, and in control. I want to do a little reading. I'm sure that won't offend you. The book of Jeremiah and Isaiah. But before I do, it'd be an honor if you'd subscribe to the channel. You are welcome in the comments section to put specific prayer requests. I am live Mondays, 9 p.m. New York Eastern on YouTube. Go to my YouTube channel, 9 p.m. Eastern, prophesying, preaching, and praying. My God, it's been powerful. The chat room's blowing up. As people are chatting in prayer requests, I'm praying over the prayer requests, and people are also praying over the prayer requests that I'm praying for, praise the Lord. Now let me go into Jeremiah chapter uh, 32 and verse 17. Just listen to this, praise the Lord. Hey, give me a second. My notes just blew. I'll be back in a second. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, you see you see how raw I am, man? I just continue to go. I don't even start the channel over to reboot the show. I just continue. Praise the Lord. I'm sorry that offended you. We'll pray for you to get over the offense. You know, people get so offended today so easily. You got to see some of these comments that people come up with. You wouldn't believe some. I had a woman tell me I talk with my hands while well, I am part Sicilian. I'm casting spells on people, hexes, incantations. I'm a witch, a wall. I says, this is the crazy. You got to see some of the stuff. It is cat. It's really funny. Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 17. This is so powerful, man. Our Lord God, behold, you have made the heavens and the earth. By your great and outstretched arm, there is nothing too hard for you, or there is nothing too difficult for you. Now, again, the title of this show is Who is Like the Lord? This is incredible. The great, the mighty God, whose name is the Lord of hosts. Verse 19, you are great in counsel and mighty in work. Just close your eyes and absorb this. I'll read it a little slower. Jeremiah 32, 19, you are great in counsel and mighty in work, for your eyes are open to all the ways of the sons of men, to give everyone account to his ways and according to the fruit of his doing. Verse 26, then the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, saying, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Let me take it into the book of Isaiah. Please just pop. Just listen to the scriptures. It's so powerful. It's going to bless you. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 12. I'm going to skip around a little. Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand, measured heaven with a span, calculated the dust of the earth in a measure, weighed the mountains in scales, the hills in a balance? Who has directed the spirit of the Lord, or as his counselor has taught him? With whom did he take counsel? And who instructed him and toward him in the path of justice? Who taught him knowledge? Showed him the ways of understanding. Friends, who is like the Lord? Verse 18, to whom then will you liken God? Who is like God? Who is like the Lord? Verse 18, to whom then will you liken God? Or what likeness will you compare to him? Man, you can just go on. Verse 25, I'll finish with this. To whom then will you liken me? Or whom shall I be equal, says the Lord. Lift up your eyes on high. See who has created these things. 
who brings out their host by number. He who calls them all by name, by the greatness of his might, the strength of his power, not one is missing. Friends, that's it. You read those scriptures when you're going through it, and God's going to feel your, your total perspectiveness, and your mind's eye is going to completely change about what's going on. And you're gonna, it's going to seem a lot smaller than it did, your trial, tribulation. What you're stressing about anxiety, fear, worry. Let me pray for you, Father. I'm asking the impartation to go right through this screen for people to capture who is like the Lord. Hallelujah. To whom will you liken God? Who is like him? Who's his equal? There's none. There never will be any like him. No king, no ruler, no president, no queen. Hallelujah. Jesus is king of kings. And Lord of Lords, the Bible says, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Friends, he's the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. Pray, I thought that would pump you up, man. I'm pumped. Glory to God. I, I got to lift more of the pandemics. I'm doing a lot of cardio, playing basketball. But uh, praise the Lord's gotten on to getting God's gym and pump God's iron. Bench press this, the sins of the world. That's what Jesus did. He bench pressed the sins of the world. Hallelujah. Hey, the Lord bless you. If you made it this far, subscribe once again. Hit the like button, comment. I am live Mondays, 9 p.m. Eastern New York, live for the hour of power. The Lord bless you guys. Amen.